Okay, so today we're going to make a card from start to finish. Um, I'm going to show you some of the products that we're going to be using and then we'll get started. The first thing that we're going to use is this die set from um, My Favorite Things. This is the uh, feathers and arrows and we're going to be using these two feathers right here. And then the corresponding stamp set is right here and we're going to be using a sentiment from this stamp set. And then lastly, we're going to use, this is the Hero Arts uh, Essential Messages. We're going to be using this congrats right here. And we'll get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is lay down our craft mat because we're going to be doing some inking. Um, I've been having a lot of fun lately using my Distress ink. And we're going to be inking up one of the... Um, Feathers. I already did two off camera, so I'll show you how I got this effect right here. Let me see if I can show you closer up. I don't know if it's focusing or not, um, but we're going to do one more in the blue tones. So I'm going to do that with you right now, and there's many ways you can get this effect. Um, a lot of people like to begin by taking their, their distress inks and mushing them down like this and then spraying the water. I don't prefer that effect, so I'm going to show you the way that I do it. And I'm going to start with, um, this is Peacock Feathers. I just got this one. I really like it. Um, and then I'm going to just start on the bottom of my craft mat, and I sort of just turn this around. And I cover the whole thing. It doesn't have to be perfect, because we're going to be going back over it with a lot of different colors. But I start with my brightest, because I actually want this to have a masculine feel, so... Um, I like to tone it down using uh, weathered wood. And you're just going to do the same thing. You're going to bring it in from the side. And then just to add some um, definition, we're going to use chip sapphire. And then I think I want a little bit more weathered wood on that side. So then what I do is I take my mini mister and I mist from very high up like this. Just one, maybe two. And then I also open it and I drip some larger drops after I dab it off. So I'm just going to take this just the paper towel I've had on my desk because I've been doing a lot of stuff with distress inks. So I just sort of dab it. And you can also already see that the effect is taking place. But I just take this out and I do some bigger droplets like that. And then after this has set, I will use the chip sapphire to sort of define it like I did on this one. See how it's kind of a gradient? So we'll be doing that as well. And then what I like to do is as this is drying, I laid this on top of it to flatten it, but I'll do that sort of off camera. Let me just move my craft mat because we don't need it anymore. And then right over here, we'll leave that just sitting there. And then we'll start working on the rest of the card. So for the outside of the card, this is uh, craft card stock. And I don't, this isn't from any um, scrapbooking manufacturer or card making manufacturer. This is actually uh, a long time ago when I was really in love with craft before they started selling it in stores. Um, I would get it from a wholesale paper um, company in Wisconsin and so I like this because it's a little bit darker than your normal craft and it's really good for the purposes of what we're going to do today. So um, from this stamp set right here we're going to use this feather and create our own background on this uh, card. And we're going for a tone on tone effect. Let me just grab my block 
remove the stamp that we don't need yet. And we're using soft brown. I've already tested it and it's a very good uh, background. And then I want to put a little scrap piece of paper behind there. Let me just grab some. That way we can stamp off and they don't have to all be perfect on there. Okay. So we're going to do this all over the back of the stamp. There's no specific rhyme or reason. Flip it this way. Okay, so I think that that looks good. Um, the main part of our card will go right there, the design. So um, I think that that turned out pretty okay. I'm going to just do some stamping off to clear my clean my stamp. And then we can move this aside. And so now I'm going to check on my feathers. Um, this one appears ready. I'm just going to use some of the um, chip sapphire along the edge to define it better. And just so you know, um, I, I cut these out of um, manila tags that I had available to me. So what I want to do is sort of have these stapled together like this. Probably just like that. Um, and I'm going to just use my tiny attacher and put one staple in it. And I'm not too worried about the staple because our sentiment will go right over it. And then I'm going to right about there and now we're gonna work on our sentiment so out of that same manila envelope or envelope I just cut a little piece here and I want to antique this a little so I don't want it to be too stark so I'm gonna put this down get a little bit of antique linen distress ink just dirty this up a slight bit And then uh, later I'll be putting a little bit of vintage photo around the edges, but not yet. So we'll just leave that aside. And then our sentiment is going to be let your dreams take flight. And this is going to be a card that can be used for congratulations or a graduation or something like that. And to do our sentiment, I'm going to use this Jenny Bolin brown sugar ink. And I want to cut the edges into little uh, fishtail banners. And then we're going to take this vintage photo and just ink all the edges. So 
So, this is going to go right here, so we're just going to put dimensional adhes adhesive on either end. And then we're just going to add some random gold sequins using glossy accents um, around here. I think I pulled six out. And I keep my sequins in a container like this. So here are all my sequins uh, combined. And then I just pick out whatever colors I need. Okay, so that's the front of our card, and now we're going to make our inside really simple and flat so that this is good for um, shipping, or mailing, I should say. Let's move this aside again. I just have this piece of cardstock right here. It's kind of a tan color, and I'm going to use that same um, feather in the same color, Soft Brown Hero Arts ink, and I'm just going to do a cluster of three feathers right in the corner. Oops, that didn't stamp too good. Oh, we'll leave that one alone. And then we're going to take that brown sugar ink and do the congratulations right across the middle. like that. We'll adhere this to the inside of our card. And that's the card. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.